How's it going guys? It's Reed Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Moto G 4th Gen. So this is mine. I went ahead and had it built on Moto Maker, which is awesome. I really love the customization that you can do with Moto Maker. So let's just take it out of the box. Um, I did go ahead and get mine customized a little bit with this uh, little blue right there. Otherwise it's basically the black back and the black front. So nothing too fancy right there. Um, underneath it's very, very basic. So we have our power brick right here which is a turbo turbo power supply. So it does have quick charging, which is awesome. Gotta love that. Um, standard uh, micro USB cable right there. This is not USB type C, still micro USB. And then we have a couple little manuals here, some readme information, some legal jargon that nobody cares about. So very, very standard, but I'm glad it does come with the turbo charging brick, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and peel off the uh, front cover here if I can get my fingernail underneath it. Whoop. Get that out of the way. And then let's go ahead and just power up our first boot up here. And while this thing's booting up, let's talk about the operating system a little bit. So this is going to be running Android Marshmallow 6.0.1. This one I've got right here is not the Plus. It's just the standard Moto G. So it comes with 2 gigs of RAM. I got these 16 gig internal storage. You can also get 32 gigs if you want that. And it does have SD card slots. So you can span, uh, you know, expand it up to 128 gigs, which is awesome. It does have a 5.5 inch display, which is very nice. 1080p. Uh, 401 ppi so very sweet right there and it is running a snapdragon 617 octa-core processor and an adreno C gpu of 5 405 gpu so let's go ahead and just check it out here so this is just start up right here standard stuff i'm going to connect up to my wi-fi get the device booted up before we do that let's just quickly talk a little bit about and look around the device as well since we've got it on so you've got a little mic pickup on the bottom right here obviously you have your earpiece right there front facing camera if we flip it around to the back you do have the little dimple here it doesn't do anything on this device but it's there camera and flash another little looks like a little microphone pickup up on top um, along the bottom we have again micro usb a little thumbnail slot for pulling the back cover off which we'll do here in a second and then um, up volume up and down and power so the that's actually kind of nice so the, the power button is kind of uh, ruggedized so you can kind of feel it. it's kind of grooved and then volume up and down rocker is just you know volume up and down very simple to use um, so top we do still have a headphone jack I know some phones are going away from that but we definitely still have it on there which is awesome as well and then you know what? yeah let's go ahead and pull off the back cover and just show you what's underneath so here we go let me cover up that, not that it really matters that much. Um, so we do have a battery that is contained. Everything on the battery does not come out. It's not a removable battery, okay? So just you be aware of that. If that's something you're looking for, obviously this one does not have that. But we do have a micro SD card slot right there and then your SIM tray. And this is kind of cool. So this actually comes with a SIM adapter. I'm actually going to take that out and put that in my stock because uh, I use those and they're really nice. So it does have a SIM adapter so you can use a um, standard SIM or a nano SIM. I think it's micro SIM or nano SIM. Either one will work with the phone which is awesome. The other thing to talk about SIMs actually is that this does work on almost every carrier which is really 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 awesome. So you're talking Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, US Cellular, Consumer Cellular, and so on. So basically all of the U.S. carriers, it should work on those carriers, which is great. All right. Let me just go ahead and uh, boot this sucker up, and I'll show you guys the firmware. Well, while we're booting up, I might as well just go through this. Uh, I'm not going to add a Google account right now, but just talk about it. This is a 4G phone, so that's, an, that's a plus. Obviously, in the U.S. or really anymore, anywhere, anywhere at this point, you really should have 4G. So that's really nice. The battery is a 3,000 milliamp hour battery, which should be plenty for this kind of device. It's not like walking, you know, quad HD. It's not an insanely powerful processor. So most of your things should be able to handle pretty well and not drain out your device too much. So I think 3,000 milliamp hours is probably going to be really nice for this device. You should run and last a long time. The other thing we could probably point out would be while we're booting this up is the cameras. So on this device, uh, the standard Moto G here, 
You have a 13 megapixel camera on the back, which is really nice. Five megapixel camera on the front. So the back one does have um, f 2.0 aperture, which should make some pretty decent pictures. And then, you know, the front is just standard. Uh, I think it's f 2.1 aperture, which actually isn't too bad. It's not too bad. Wide angle lens, so you should be able to get your good selfies in and get that going as well. All right, now that we've talked about the hardware. Let's go ahead and talk about the software. So here you go. This is the initial boot up here on the device. Um, it's actually, software is nice. It's very, very much stock. It's very stock Android, which I definitely like. So let's go check out the app drawer. As you can see, there's not much more in here besides Google. This is the kind of the kind of stock features I really like. Just very, very, very plain. Um, so yeah, just just really nice. You can install whatever you want. There's, I guess, some things to point out would be like the FM radio. That's not really a stock Android feature. That's more of a Motorola feature. You do have your little Moto uh, application right there. Help comes with Motorola devices. That at least that version of Help does otherwise really this is very much stock android and that's really what i like so we're going to go ahead and we'll check what else we got here so you have your customization here on your toggles um you know flashlight application and so on let's go ahead and go into settings and we'll look under about phone again there's that android version right there some build numbers basic software software channel is Retus so that's interesting I do have an Amazon variant which is actually this box right here and it does say AMZ in the software channel right there if you're looking at how to remove ads actually on that device check out that video it's really cool I'll show you how how to remove the ads off that Amazon version of the Moto G 4th gen um, otherwise you know like I said this is very much stock settings there's nothing really to point out in here that's uh, too unusual versus most of the phones. We'll go ahead and take a look at the camera application. Go ahead and allow location access. Hit OK. And, and just goes through a little tutorial. So this is kind of cool. So this actually does QR code scanning. So instead of downloading a QR code application, you just open the camera app. It's built in. Motorola has built these into their camera apps now for a while. I really like that. I really like not having to open up another application to scan a QR code. So that's pretty cool. So actually, this is actually really close, and I'm surprised it's actually picking up that well. It's a very, very, very close picture. Looking at that box right behind it for the uh, uh, Honor 5X. So you can see it worked pretty well. Let's see what other kind of features we have here in the camera, though. So we'll go into video or modes here. So you have video. Panorama, slow mo, professional. So the the camera, yeah, I actually saw this earlier. I was playing with this the camera. is really nice. So you have white balance. You know your your um, little focus thing, your auto here. You have your white balance. You could mess on that. Some auto things. I mean ISO. There's a lot of customization in here with the camera app. So I really am liking this camera app quite a bit. And if you want to get up like really close, you can hit that micro, which is probably what it was doing automatically. It was going right into that micro mode. For taking pictures so yeah camera is actually pretty stinking nice i'm, I'm really liking it um obviously slow-mo which is really cool it's not going to focus right here i'm so close but slow-mo video so you got that going on if you want to do that video panorama normal photos and whatnot so and you can reverse it and look at me hi so that's pretty sweet camera mode there not too bad we do have obviously multitasking in here as well you can maneuver around. This is, you know, standard Android stuff. Um, otherwise, I mean, you know, it's pretty much it. Calculator, launch up some applications. You can see this thing, it's it's smooth. Very smooth, very easy to use. You know, I don't know, look at, look at the phone. You know, you can look through here. You know, do a quick search for something, whatevers. So, not bad at all, not bad at all. Now, if you guys want to, this version of this phone you should be able to unlock the bootloader on it which is really awesome so we can unlock the bootloader we should be able to install custom roms root access and all that kind of stuff so if you're going to do it though just make sure you turn on developer options like this tap it on the build number developer options oem unlock enable and debugging enable now i gotta make a note because i've done a lot of videos already on the moto g for the amazon uh prime deal with the ads on the lock screen when it first got released, you were able to unlock the bootloader. And it looks like within a week, Amazon has contacted Motorola and basically 
put the kibosh on that and now you can't unlock the bootloaders anymore. You can still flash um, stock firmware, which actually will remove the ads, but you'll be stuck on a different software channel for updates. Um, updates through Amazon will fail after you do that. Um, so just be aware of that. You have to do firmware flashes to do your updates after that point. Um, so it is what it is, but it still at least gets your ads off the lock screen. Anyway, guys, that's going to be the software here on this device. I mean, there ain't much too, too much else to it. It's very plain and simple, um, easy to use, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So you do have your command center and your clock. You can put in a clock up. You got command center, which can launch some cool things, uh, current location, and so on. So, yeah, not too bad. Well, guys, that's going to wrap it up here for the Moto G 4th Gen kind of unboxing and, you know, overview of the software. Camera application is pretty good. I'm liking it quite a bit. I mean, it's not going to compare to an S7, but it is what it is. So there you go, guys, for 200 bucks. Unlock bootloader, custom ROMs, I'm sure will be coming. You really can't beat it. It's an excellent device. Hope you guys like this quick review here on the Moto G 4th Gen. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.